What's going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I want to show you how to create this super cool masking fall effect overlay transition. To do that, it's very simple. You're going to go to the end of that clip. So I'm going to go about six frames to the left on that clip. So go one, two, three, four, five, six. So on the sixth frame at the end of that clip, we're going to press command B. We're going to select this one and we're going to right click and go to new compounds clip. So we're going to group this together and I'm going to name this transition so I know what I'm going to export. We're going to go over to file at the top and go to share and go to export file. Go ahead and give it a title. I'm just going to name this transition and then you want to save that onto your desktop. So go ahead and open up Adobe Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop version 2024, which is the newest version of Photoshop. And you should have when you import your video and if you don't have this timeline, on the bottom, just go to window at the top and go down to timeline and make sure that is checked. On the first frame, I'm gonna go over and use the marquee tool. So click and hold and you're gonna see the rectangular marquee tool, press M. And we're gonna go and select your entire subject. So something like this, including the shadows, everything that needs to be included. So something like this, ideally you wanna go a little bit more just so we can feather the edges in Final Cut Pro. So that is fine. And you can either hit generative fill or you can right click inside of the mask or the selection and go to fill. And then you can do contents, content to wear. But I think the generative fill does a better job and click generate. And this will use the generative fill AI feature that was implemented into Photoshop, which pretty much uses AI artificial intelligence to pretty much remove the selection and fill it with its surroundings. And the really cool thing is you can cycle through the different variations. Now you can't see anything right now because we have this video underneath the video group one. So if you press command right bracket key or control if you're on a PC and the right bracket key, this will move it up or you can just click and drag upwards like that. And this will move the layer above the video clip. So now we can can click and drag the generative fill layer above so you can see what's actually happening. You can cycle through the different variations and if you don't like it, you can type in generate or you can type in a prompt to change this. So once we're happy with that, we're going to actually disable this video group. So if you click on this little eye icon, this will hide the background and just show our generative fill image. So with the, the video group hidden, we're going to press shift option command S or shift Alt, Control, S if you're on a PC, or you can go to File and then go to Export and Save for Web. We're going to click Save. Make sure you save it as a PNG image and click Save. So I saved it to my desktop and I'm going to go back into Final Cut Pro and I'll show you what to do from there. Okay, so once we're back in Final Cut Pro, we're going to go ahead and import that image. So just press Command I. Okay, so here's our image that we exported from Photoshop. So click and drag and move this right above our timeline or on our clip here. So now it's just a still image. So we're going to trim this down to about here. And now you can see that we need to add a mask to this. We're going to go over to the effects over here, go down to the masks and keying, and we're going to add a sheet mask. So just click and drag, or you can also just double click. So once we're here, we're just going to go ahead and expand this out just enough so that it's underneath like that. And then on the top as well. So you can move this as well if you need to just fix the mask so that it creates a nice feather. Okay. So now we got to track this to our movement of the bottom clip. We're going to go ahead and enable the clip and go over to the transform tool here and add a keyframe. And I don't like to move the clips here. I like to do all of my settings over under the transform next to the inspector window. And at the very beginning, we're going to go to the end. You can see that in the beginning, this kind of line aligns to this like line on that brick wall. So on the second to last frame on that clip, I'm going to move the Y axis kind of down to where it matches like this. And that looks pretty good. Also want to move the X. I'm going to go like that maybe perfect there you go so it takes a little bit of finesse to get this just right so we can work with this so now that we have that we're actually going to disable this clip here and i'm gonna go to the beginning here of this clip i'm gonna go to the top and go to edit and i'm gonna go down to add a freeze frame or option f and now it's a still image so i'm going to drag this up and move it up and i'm gonna move this one over just like that so i'm gonna move this like that I'm going to move this up actually above everything and I'm going to expand this uh, this way because it shrink it for some reason. So make sure that this clip and this one is the same exact clip. Now that we have that, this is just a still image. So I'm going to make this longer. And with this clip here, I'm going to press P for the position tool. Click and drag this underneath the entire clip because it's only five or six frames. And with this clip here, we're just going to add a simple mask. So go to masks and keying, add a draw mask. I'm going to just select it. I'm going 
going to go and select just a little bit on the outside edge of this because we're going to be creating a nice mask and that's fine and I'm going to feather this outwards just a little bit kind of like this. With this here what we're going to do is go to the transforms and we're going to add a keyframe over here and at the starting point here what I'm going to do is go one frame over to the right and I'm going to start turning this kind of like rotating it a little bit to the left so that it's kind of tilting. And then on the third frame, I'm going to tilt it a little bit more. I'm gonna to go to the very end, go one frame to the left and drag this all the way down. Make sure it's out of the frame completely. So now it'll look like this. It's tilting and then it's falling. And if it's too fast, don't worry. We're gonna go over and add a blur so it looks a lot more realistic. So go to blur and add a directional blur onto this here. And I'm gonna change the direction angle down to zero because we want to start this at zero at the beginning so add a keyframe and then go one frame to the right and start increasing the amount a little bit not too much but just a little bit once it starts to move down on this one we're going to drag it down quite a bit so now if we go back and push play it's going to fall just like that we do want this actually to extend out a little bit longer so maybe like right there so I'm going to right click on this and go to show video animation and we can just drag this slider all the way to the right. So now it's going to come in slower just like that. If you think that's too slow, which I think it is, I'm going to make this go a little quicker, like maybe here or something. So now if I go back and push play, it's going to look just like that. So with this one, what we're going to do is feather over here. We're going to add a keyframe. And we're going to drag this all the way to zero so you don't really see it on that first frame and then when you go to the right frame you can see a little bit so just increase this to there maybe so now it's going to look like this if it's too obvious it'll go by quick so you won't be able to tell that much you could you know add more effects on top of this with the editing pack the scribble film leaders pack which is in the description you can do something like this one here and add it over so it hides it a little bit so something like that and to finish it off you can use like this finish scribble film leader with the glow on this one and in the end, you will have this super cool falling object mass transition. So if you found this video helpful at all, please consider leaving a like, subscribe, and be sure to share the video if you want to share it to your editing friends or whatever. And be sure to check out my website, kingtouchpro.com, if you guys want these really cool editing packs. I also have free sample packs too, so check those out, and uh, I'll catch you on my next video. Peace.